Hey, so on the subject on, of uh, wallets and security and privacy. Sure. Uh, so blockchain.info wallet was very innovative and been around for a long time and kind of pioneered the architecture, I think, of uh, client-side trustless uh, way of doing the wallets. Mm -hmm. And they had also had the coin join feature for yes. a long time, I, I think multiple years. That's just a simple checkbox. Do you want to have your transaction be anonymous? Yes. Uh, and they disabled that, I think, like a, a couple months ago or something. I They're think just, so. I'm not sure. Okay, so I, oh, I was just wondering if you had any insight on why they did that. And maybe a technical reason that I'm not aware of. And then... Uh, I have no insight or ability to comment on what, a, you know, it's a private company, I have no association with them. Okay. Um, I think it's, it's, it's obviously disappointing because if they did disable that, that was a useful feature that a lot of people found useful. But, on the other hand, there is a very big difference between the, the Bitcoin blockchain in 2013, 2014, where that was the only option versus the world we live in today where if you want to use CoinJoin, one of the easiest ways to do it is go on Shapeshift and Bitcoin to Dash to Monero to Zcash to Dash to Monero to Zcash to Monero to Monero to the back to Bitcoin. Right. Add a bit of Litecoin in there, maybe some Ethereum for fun. That's maybe some classic. Yeah, Mix I think it all that's up. Pretty much Get good. back into Bitcoin while well, you coin joined. I mean, you don't really need to use it as an application. You can use it as an entire chain, and that's part of what the ecosystem offers us now. Um, and there are many alternatives. There's also yeah, peer-to-peer -peer network. I think it's called Join Markets, if someone might correct me, which is a a peer-to-peer -peer software-based thing which is serverless. Uh, it essentially does the same thing uh, in a broadly applicable way. One of the problems with CoinJoin and such an anonymization of privacy technologies is that the main weakness they have is that you can do statistical analysis on the transferred values and, and create associations and correlations from that. And that's what uh, confidential transactions attacks directly, which is really good. What, what's confidential transactions? Uh, confidential transactions is a um, software implementation of homomorphic encryption using ring signatures, as best I can understand it, uh, which is implemented uh, as a test bed on the Elements Alpha sidechain run by uh, Blockstream, uh, which was an invention initiated by, among others, uh, Gregory Maxwell, I think Peter Wool, and a bunch of other developers. It's actually working today. You can run it on the Alpha chain. Uh, and it's one of the things that is proposed as a soft fork upgrade after segregated witness to bring it straight into Bitcoin. Uh, 